Hi there, I'm Oluwa Kemi. I create educational videos for both students and teachers as well as some other helpful do-it-yourself videos. And if you are watching my video for the first time, please leave a comment below, share and like. And please do click on the red subscription button. Thank you for watching. Enjoy and be educated. Hi. I am Uluwa Kemi. I'm so glad to have you here again. This is YEG 2019 and the question goes thus. If T equals prime numbers and M equals odd numbers are subsets of the universal set with this given range of numbers and X is an integer, find T prime in the set M prime. Okay, obviously we know this is a set theory question, okay, but this is basically testing all the knowledge of prime numbers, odd numbers, and even the inequality signs as we can see here. So, and basically this question, if you don't understand, you are basically going to arrive at one of these answer options and it's going to be wrong so you need to understand that so let us quickly interpret these inequalities okay so here we have zero less than x what does that mean on the left hand side of the uh, x remember x is an integer Let's go back. Let's go to that first. X is an integer, and that what that means is that X is not a fractional number. Say, for instance, 1.5. Okay, or we'll be talking of 3 over 2. So X is not these kind of values. It means that x is a whole number okay so how do we now know the range of values so on the left hand side of this um, double inequality what you do is you flip the inequality sign okay so x is greater than zero okay so uh, x cannot start from zero it's greater than zero okay then this you leave as a thesis all right which is the x less than or equal to 10 which means that x from 10 is start counting down so the universal set in this case as given in the question is actually starting from 1 and it's going to end where did I hear you say 10 exactly so let us quickly write all the objects out okay good so now let's go to the um, set the subset of T the prime numbers that we can find in this given universal set Remember the prime numbers are numbers that are divisible by one and itself. Okay, uh, good. I was supposed to let you say that. Right. So, what are the numbers, the prime numbers that you can find here? All right. Did I hear you say two? You're correct. And three. Okay, correct. Five. Oh, you said seven. And is that all? Yes, that is all. Good. So let's go to the subset of M, okay, which are odd numbers. All right. So what are the odd numbers between uh, these uh, that we can find in this universal set? Let's let me give you time. Are we going it? Good. So now let's represent that. Those are one. Then three. First, how did you come about those numbers? These are numbers that if you divide it by two, you are going to have a decimal number. If you divide one by two, you'll have zero point five. If you divide three, 
by 2, you have 1.5. So these are numbers that if you divide by 2, you are going to have a decimal number. All right. So what is the next odd number in this universe of Seth? Did I hear you say 5? Good. So now let's go to looking for the prime of t. So the prime of t, that is, it means that the object that does not belong to t. So the object that does not belong to t in the universal set, that is basically we're just going to cross out all the numbers, like 2 will be crossed out. Okay, so we're going to have if we crossed out all the subset of t from the universal set, we end up having there you say one okay followed by four all right six eight what is oh nine and ten good so that is the object that doesn't belong to the universal set now that is the prime of t so we go to the prime of m the prime of m the same you look for elements that are in the that are that are not in the universal set. That is just like you go and cross it out, then you write out the remaining that are left out. Okay, so by so doing, can you quickly do that on your own? Okay, good. So, I guess this is what you wrote out. Okay, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Good. If this is what you got, Fantastic. So now let's go to the prime of T intersect the prime of M. Okay, so if what that means, this symbol intersect is to look for the common element, element that belongs to both subset okay so if we to look at this we can see that four belong to both sets okay so we have four followed by six okay what else can you see eight good followed by what ten good all right so this is your final answer all right so the answer option a is the right answer Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.